Everyone to Midday Super Talk Mississippi live at the Mississippi Trademark today for 100 years of faith, family, and Farm Bureau. And joining us now, Mr. Mike McCormick, the president of the Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation. Mike, good to have you. Always good to see you, sir. Glad to be here. Time so, times. Yes, sir. So I, I did a little walk uh, through the big uh, trade halls, and the exhibitors are getting everything all set up. It's got to be exciting. 100 years incredible milestone any anything that uh, endures for that that long a period of time got to be doing something right well and it's got such an important mission as well right so agriculture is mississippi's number one industry and uh when before we got started with this in 1922 uh, we were the number one industry in the state, but the farmers didn't have a, a voice or a seat at the table. So we've been doing that for 100 years, and it's, it's just getting bigger and better and stronger all the time. So, Mike, in, in your uh, tenure in this, in this role, and I know you, you, you've been in the farming industry. It's in your blood all your life. Uh, what sticks out as what has changed, let's say, in the last 20 years or so, or just through your career that comes to mind that says, you know, that really was revelational to the industry? Well, I think the technology that we're having today is just amazing, and it's moving at a at such a rapid pace that uh, uh, you never know what the future is going to uh, unfold. But right now, some of the stuff that we're looking at in the in the trade show out there is just amazing machinery. It's incredible. So I, I talked about it on the show a couple of days ago. I caught an interview on the Business Channel. Uh, and it was at uh, an event for uh, agribusiness. I'm not exactly sure where it was, but they were speaking with the chief information officer of John Deere. And he was laying out the vision for that company, of course, a, a great American company that has served uh, farmers and revolutionized the farming industry, honestly, uh, with their inventions. But hearing his vision to uh, transitioning almost to total autonomous uh, farm implements and farm machinery, and what really caught my attention is when he said, you know, with this we could, we could literally work on the farm or these, these machines could seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Well, I don't know that we have any other choice but to move in that direction because of the labor market. Um, right. Farmers just can't find people to work on the farm anymore. Uh, so uh, being able to do what you're talking about, and uh, I have farmers that uh, run a lot of uh, equipment and sit in their trucks and, and can watch it in the field. You don't have to <laughs> wonder if it's working, if it's if something's broken down or, or something's not working right. Uh, you can see it right there on your laptop in, from your truck. So do you believe that all of that technology ha has really enabled farmers to control costs but produce greater yields? So that's the goal. Well, that's it, and that's, that's why we uh, lead the world in production agriculture, because we can do all these wonderful things. We have all of these uh, uh, great companies here uh, that are innovative and, and scientists that are working at our land grants and, and giving us this competitive edge. But uh, if you look through that door right there, you're going to see the latest and the greatest. That's John Deere's sea and spray machine, and that's what all the farmers are talking about. Uh, it's uh, got the capability of cutting their their uh, uh, chemical costs back uh, uh, applications by 80 percent. Wow. Well, it's an incredibly uh, beautiful piece of machine, the workmanship, and, and you just know lots of engineering, lots of technology behind the scenes. All right, so let's talk about uh, the proceedings for the weekend. I, I just looking through the brochure here. It's absolutely jam-packed with activities, and, and you've got big-time entertainment coming in as well. Tell us what's happening. So this afternoon, we we uh, have joined forces with the Mississippi Cattlemen's Association. They're going to start today and t tonight and, and uh, finish up tomorrow uh, around lunchtime, and then we're going to pick up uh, there about uh, 2 or 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon with our first general session of Farm Bureau activities, but while all of that's going on, we got this wonderful trade show out here that we want to invite all the farmers in the state. You don't have to be a row crop farmer. They're going to have John Deere uh, hay baling equipment in there and having hay baling in, uh, demonstrations and uh, a lot of other uh, wonderful groups in there that's helped sponsor this thing. We want to uh, come out and, and support those that are supporting us in agriculture. While all that's going on, we've got our uh, uh, Farm Bureau Livestock Show going on out in the livestock barns. All the uh, show people, the FFA and 4-H kids will, will be out there. You need to come out and support your county and your uh, your kids that are, that are doing that. Uh, they're the hardest working young people that you'll ever want to meet. 
Uh, then we uh, will uh, move into uh, a concert that we're sponsoring tomorrow night, uh, the Trace Atkins uh, lineup, and uh, it's going to be wonderful. That's a ticketed event. There's a few tickets left, I think. You can go online and get those. On Sunday, uh, we will be uh, back over here at the Trademark. Uh, most all of this is going to happen here. And uh, at 2 o'clock on Sunday is our, our big general session. All the statewide officials are going to be here speaking and uh, federal officials as well. And then uh, Mike Huckabee is going to be our keynote speaker. I think everybody will want to come yeah. hear him. So y'all come on down and, and uh, come through the trade show, go visit the livestock barns, and uh, come, come hang out with us. That's awesome. Uh, Mike, how would you assess the, the health of the agriculture industry in the state of Mississippi and in the nation in general at this time? Well, I think uh, it's, it's in a, a state of change. Um, inflation is uh, hitting our farmers like uh, uh, harder than ever before. The input costs are up just for this one year, 25%, 50% on uh, diesel and chemicals and fertilizer, even more than that in, a, in some instances. So uh, we are, are receiving a little more for our uh, commodities, uh, but not enough to offset all the, the inflation on everything that we're using. So, uh, But overall, I think the future is bright. We've got uh, how to feed this, this planet, and we, we can do that here in the United States. We can do it here in Mississippi better than anywhere else on the planet. It's incredible. And, and farmers, Mike, it, it always seems to me like though they somewhat compete, they're competitors, there's also a brotherhood of bond amongst farmers as well, is there not? It is, and that's, that's the wonderful thing about Farm Bureau and we started this a hundred years ago what we found and what we call the Farm Bureau family are all of our members all of our boards across the state that uh, that meet uh, we, uh, we we just become family and it's, it's a place where uh, a poultry producer a contract chicken grower can become best friends with a row crop farmer uh, from up in the Delta and we just have a brotherhood that is probably unlike any other industry yeah it's incredible so uh, I, what about the government and and the government uh, always issuing regulations, it seems, and to some extent now the, the farming community, uh, because of so-called climate change, is, is now in the target of government. You're having to deal with this constantly. Yes, and unfortunately, it's not just the government. It's, it's corporate America yeah. that's passing along all this environmental yeah. uh, rules and regulations for us that just doesn't make sense. Farmers are, are made to be the original conservationists. We're, we're inside of us. We want to protect our land. We want to turn it over to the next generation better than what we found it. And uh, the innovations like we're seeing, like I talked about the John Deere seeing spray machine that's going to cut back chemical applications by 80% possibly. You know, those are the things that, that we're driving towards, but we just don't get there fast enough. And, and these, these people that live and, and their whole lives on concrete streets, and in high-rise buildings think that I'm out here poisoning the world when they have no idea what we're and doing. You're feeding them is what you're doing. No, that's exactly right. They've never been hungry. And clothing them as well. So, right. and, and I know uh, lots of other uses for uh, agricultural applications. And, and I know your organization is that voice. You're in constant contact with our, our state leaders, our Washington delegation as well. Yes, constant, and uh, they, they reach out to us and on just about every itch, issue that impacts rural Mississippi and, and uh, farmers to see, hey, what does Farm Bureau say about uh, this particular issue? So it's easier for them. Farm Bureau is the, the best at grassroots. That's what we do the best. I have a county board in every county in the state and through every community's leadership there. So we, we want to know what, what the answer is to the uh, questions that are being asked. Uh, we can get that very rapidly through through our network so uh, they are in, in contact with us and the good thing is is uh, they're so very supportive our congressional delegation our state leadership uh, I couldn't be prouder to be able to be uh, teammates with those guys yeah and our we should point out our ag commissioner uh, Andy Gibson is a, a, is a huge job. advocate and ambassador for uh, the industry as well he uh, a great friend I, I, uh, I would I would guess Andy and I average talking twice a day on the telephone Wow. Uh, uh, just 
um, in the off times of the year. So when the legislative session is going on, maybe a little more. But uh, we've got a lot of good friends uh, in the House and the Senate here in the state. Uh, the, the, the governor and the lieutenant governor and speaker have all been uh, advocates for ag agriculture as, as well as our senators and representatives in Washington. I mean, it's it's a critical part of our economy, still the biggest industry in our state, and we got to foster it and take care of it, make sure they got all they need to, for us to get out of the way and let them do what they do. We're going to continue to do that for the next 100 years, and we're going to chart that course here this weekend. That sounds great. Mike, good to see you, sir. Appreciate you coming on. Congratulations as well. Thank you. Thank you for being here. You got it. Mike McCormick, the president of the Mississippi Farm Bureau Federation, has been our guest on Middays. We'll take a break right here.